Do you remember the movie Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves? Is that the Kevin Costner? <laughs> it sure is. I remember the poster. Okay. Do you remember? You have to have remembered. Everything I do, I do it for you. Yes. Do you remember the music video for it? No. Okay. Well, the music video was Brian Adams on the shoals of English shore somewhere, <laughs> interspersed with clips of the movie. And then the band was playing in Sherwood Forest like it was a place yeah. in England. Well, this was on like MTV every day. I remember watching it. As a kid, I had the action figures. I seen, saw the movie like four times in the theater. I, I love this music video. doesn't exist anymore. Um, I can't find it anywhere. Not on YouTube, not on like... I was on some pretty sh- sketchy Czech Republic sites looking for this mm. thing. Did Kevin so finally want it I, gone? I don't know. But I'm like, did I imagine this? So I started like looking around and somebody posted a video saying the Mandela effect does this, did this music video actually exist? I'm like, it absolutely did. I remember Brian Adams was the first time I ever seen him. He had the coat on, he was doing this. So it does exist. And you can see the video on the VHS at the end of the movie, they play it in the credits. So this guy posted it and was like, it does exist. I was looking for it. I found it. But to this day, nobody can find this video. And even if you go to the Wikipedia page, it says the video was this and this. Like it, yeah. they confirm existing. Yeah. But I guess when like Morgan Creek sold the company, the rights like disappeared and it just it, it's gone. I find it so hard to believe a song. The song was redone, the video yeah. too, by Brian Adams. Like he's <laughs> part of like the distribution of the disappearance. Uh, my 2024 goal is to find this song video. And I think I have it on tape. And I got to go through my parents' attic. And Get out like your a VHS month. tapes to see. So I'm doing sure it. it. still exists. So. But um, Robert, you have to remember this video. I vaguely, because this was 91, I think, or something like that. So It was 91, baby. Yeah. Um, so Because I remember <laughs> I was in college. And I remember I was like, I was kind of, well, I was anti-Kevin Costner. Because yeah. well, uh, obviously yeah. Madonna and Truth or Dare. Because uh, he called her show neat. And anyone that calls her show oh. neat has to go. He called her show neat. Yeah, they have this behind the scenes in Truth or Dare where uh, he's like, "Yeah, we can't stay for the the after other thing, but uh, thanks. It was really neat." And Madonna's like, "Neat." That's not a cool. I've never heard it quite described that way. way. She goes, "All right, thanks, bye, bye, bye." And then as they leave, she goes, "Anyone who calls my show neat has to go." <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, come on, don't say neat. Yeah, um, but I know years later, uh, Kevin was at uh, another Madonna show and she called him out in the audience and forgave him. Because uh, I think Kevin was oh, there with good sport. And stuff like that. So here's the thing. Madonna's, you know, because people, you know, Elton John has trashed her and, you know, whatever. She is always. Yeah. Elton John trashed Madonna? Oh, my God. Yeah. So. For what what reason? Oh, for lip syncing and for this and that or whatever. <sighs> yeah, He's trashed her kind of several times. Boy George does whatever. And then. The thing I don't is think like, Boy George isn't the same. Elton John I, is up there. Yeah. Boy George is not yeah. up there. The thing no is, like, the, she just, Culture you know. Club. Madonna actually goes above and is like just moves above that a little bit. So, but yeah, I just remember that time. I was like, well, I can't like Kevin Costner either. I'll you can't forgive, forgive him for Waterworld, which is still going at Universal oh. Studios. Why? It wasn't why actually they... a bomb. It just didn't make as much as they anticipated. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was like, why what do we I have? Just... You know, and the Waterworld show is great. You know, but I was like, why do they hold on to that? But they also they just destroy. E.T. the ride and um, create that horrible Fast and Furious. You know, like, it's like, why why is this right. one that they hold on Please to? Please don't do that. You know. Well, I hopefully Vin Diesel is getting canceled now. It looks hopefully like he they... may be. I don't know. but <laughs> He should. Not because he's sexually assault. If he did, he absolutely should. But because he sucks anyway. Like, he's the luckiest guy in the world. Like, really? That guy's a movie star? By accident. Come on. Yeah. Uh, but just around the Brian Adams thing, guess who's seeing Brian Adams in Anaheim next month? Who? And I'm going to find a way <laughs> to ask about this video because it needs to be, the world needs it. Robert. What if they show it? What if a concert opens up? With that? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find you, Brian Adams. Everything high, I do, I do it for you. High demand. We are showing this only to this audience. Um.